In this video, I'm going to show you how tossing to a consistent spot on your serve can improve your power and consistency. And then, I'm going to show you a drill from our upcoming Simple Serve Solution course that, believe it or not, almost always improves people's service toss immediately. First, let's go over where the toss should be and why it affects your consistency and your power. Well, first off, the toss should determine distance when you serve. You should be able to just take a relaxed swing out and then gauge how far your serve lands with the toss. Watch how by tossing further out in front, it makes my racket and body have more of a forward lean, thus bringing the ball down into the court. So the goal is to find out where your toss needs to be where you can just swing out comfortably and it brings the ball into the box. People with less consistent serves, what we find is they have a tendency to throw the ball more up over their head, then they have to calculate how much to hit down on the serve. This adds an extra variable and extra timing. Sometimes they'll miss in the net, sometimes they miss long by having to make this calculation. A toss that's out in front doesn't only help with consistency, it also helps with power. One thing we notice from players with bigger serves is that this link, the elbow to the shoulder, has a tendency to go much more forward relative to the rest of the body, rather than up. When your toss is out in front, you're going to do a better job of getting this link to go forward, creating more power on your serve. What we notice from people with less consistent toss is they have a tendency to roll the ball off their hand in a flicking motion. You'll see the ball spin a lot in the air and you won't see their hand follow the toss up when they throw it. Players with a more consistent toss, however, have a tendency to just release the ball out of their hand rather than roll it off their fingers. We also notice that their arm makes somewhat of a pushing motion and follows the ball up into the sky. Now this drill is sure to give you the feeling. What you want to do is make a fist with your tossing hand and place the ball on that fist. What you'll notice is if you try to do any type of flicking with the fingers, the ball is just not going to get in the air. This drill certainly forces you to get that feeling of pushing the ball in the air for a consistent toss. I can't tell you how often I've done this drill with players struggling with their toss and it just immediately helps them get their toss into a more consistent spot. They even end up asking, hey, can I just toss like this permanently from now on? And I tell them, sure you can. It might look a little awkward though. The best thing to do, however, is to just toss correctly. Rather than rolling the ball off your fingertips from your elbow, try to hold the ball in your fingertips and feel like you're pushing the ball up and opening your hand. What you're going to notice is the ball's not going to be spinning in the air. It's going to be very flat where you can almost read the text on the ball. Then you know you're tossing correct. If you'd like to see all of my absolute favorite serve drills for consistency, power, and placement, be sure to check out our six-week Simple Serve Solution course coming out soon.